Generous community members are overwhelming a local nonprofit with hundreds of donations a week. Their thrift store could not keep up with the surplus of items until now. Our newest reporter, Anthony Scott, has more. I hopped in my car this morning and headed right down. That was the feeling for a lot of Cross Lake residents this morning, as the Common Goods store was flooded with customers for the grand reopening. We were um, bursting at the seams um, with our donations and our processing room, so we just needed a little bit of room to spread out. Just two months ago, the store ended here, but thanks to community members coming together, they were able to knock down the wall, renovate the space, and now Common Goods is looking better than ever. It looks so clean. All the shelves are clean because during the construction it was really hard to keep things clean. So now hopefully we can do it better. But it's just wonderful. It's a great place. The renovations included a new floor space for the sales section of the store. And the back was also remodeled with an office, break room, and more storage space. Common Goods is excited about their extra space. But what's more important is the work they do for the nonprofit group, Bridges of Hope. Bridges of Hope has always struck a chord with me. Um, I've actually been helped from Bridges of Hope from the past, so working in this store is a way that I can give back to an organization that has given so much to our community. The profits go to help needy people in Crow Wing County, so that really makes a difference for me. It's really easy to donate when you have such great um, reasons to donate. The Common Goods store could not be possible without the hundreds of donations from community members and the volunteers that helped with the renovation. I come in two hours a week and I help sort clothes mm -hmm. and I clean and um, I sometimes tag clothes and uh, I just enjoy it. The organization depends on many local volunteers to get the work done. So yesterday and the day before was all hands on deck, store closed down and everybody just worked hard to get it ready for today. It was a grand day for customers and store owners alike. Reporting from Cross Lake, Anthony Scott, Lakeland News. The Bridges of Hope Foundation has been serving local families in times of crisis for over 15 years. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.